Hello fellow movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'd like to review for you guys a movie I just watched called The Night Clerk. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. Now this one's going to be available in theaters and on digital February 21st, 2020 from Saban Films. And this one was provided to me free for review. Uh, it is rated R, has a 1 hour and 30 minute runtime, and it is a crime drama. It, it does have a great cast, stars Ty Sheridan, Jean Leguizamo, Helen Hunt, and Anna de Armas. Now, in this movie, uh, Ty Sheridan is the main character, and he plays this kind of young guy working, like, I, I don't know what you, if you'd call it the night shift or the swing shift. He works 8 to 4 in the morning, so I'm not sure exactly what you'd call that. But he works at this hotel, and, you know, he's a little strange, and uh, pretty quick into the movie, they reveal that he has Asperger's. And uh, I honestly, I don't know how accurate his portrayal was of a person with Asperger's, but uh, it's just really strange and weird. And that's what they say about Asperger's in the movie. Now, he does have this kind of issue where he records hotel guests uh, without their knowledge. And he's not really doing it for any kind of like sexual reasons, but he, he like watches them and then he kind of studies how they act and he, he has like practice conversations with the videos and it's just kind of this weird thing he does where he, he just kind of tries to study human behavior so he can act more like he feels people think he should act. And then, <laughs> so, and then one night there is a murder in one of the rooms, but he sees it on the tape. So he like gets there to try to stop it, but he's too late. And he becomes kind of the uh, lead suspect as he was there. Um, he, he doesn't necessarily have a motive, but then because he has Asperger's people, you know, they think he's weird and, you know, they, they just kind of suspect him. Now he gets kind of scared and he doesn't want to reveal um, that he's been filming people, even though he actually has the actual murderer on tape and he's just trying to hide the whole thing now Jean Leguizamo is the guy investigating it and you know he he kind of really strongly believes that either um, Ty Sheridan's character did it or he knows who did it and he's holding back information uh, Helen Hunt is um, Ty Sheridan's character's mom and then Anna de Armas is just kind of this girl who he kind of develops feelings for uh, it's an interesting movie, you know, a little hard for me to really place it into a genre because I felt like it kept going one way, but then it didn't, like it wasn't really a suspense movie, um, it wasn't really a thriller, it wasn't really a mystery, <laughs> kind of a drama, a little bit of romance, and maybe a little bit of thriller, you know, it, like I say, it was just kind of the way it, you would think it was going one way and then it wouldn't go that way, and then it would go a different way. Uh, towards the end, they, they put this part in. Um, when you watch it, you know, it's real suspenseful and it makes the movies more suspenseful. But then afterwards, I just kind of started thinking like, you know, I don't know, it was a little bit of a cheap, cheap move to do it that way, um, to just kind of try to hook you at the end. Uh, but overall guys, I did like this movie. I think, like I said, it's a great cast. You got some really, um, well gifted actors in this one. And I think they did a good job. I feel like maybe the, the movie's just missing a little something. It's a good movie, but it doesn't have that little bit that just kind of propels it up into being a great movie. Uh, I definitely liked it. I definitely think uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, I gave this one a three out of five. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember you find more information on the Night Clerk down in the description below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out suggested videos, and for more movie news, check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.